has just been responsible for so many of his strikeouts. And there it is. And he gets Baez. Two strikeouts in the opening inning. Fully in the game. Yep. And he goes right back to the slider and gets the strikeout. Well, he's fanned three of the first four hitters. He gets half on the back foot slider. Just on right on the side of that ball. The first inning, that slider was a little bigger and it was a little slower. But this inning back to that real hard spinning slider. Son, you keep moving that glove, it tells me it's a ball. So if I were you, I'd just leave it right there. 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out. DeGrom outsmarts wisdom, two men down. Good pitch there, but that ball had cut on it. It was cutting away from wisdom as opposed to coming back towards the corner. I'll take it just five for 33 to start the year. One for five in his career against DeGrom. And he takes yep. strike three call. Got him looking at a backdoor slider on the 11th pitch of the at bat. DeGrom strikes out the side in the second. 24 consecutive. Pilar. That's driven toward right center field back in the gap and that'll short hop the wall racing for third is McKinney he's going to be waved around Baez with a relay throw to the plate it's cut off an RBI double for Kevin Pilar gives the Mets a one nothing lead up and away fastball fell tie went right with it and what did the Cubs do here they missed the cutoff man. One thing we've learned about Billy McKinney he does a lot of things well. You can say that about a lot of players that are playing every day right now. Two out, and now it's left to DeGrom to drive the run in. <laughs> Gary, was it like this with Seaver back in the day? The fans? No. Not not his first time up in a game. Ten hits on the season. And he rips one. He's got 11. And that one brings it a run. A hard turn. DeGrom will settle for an RBI single. He is simply amazing. What a great at bat. His 11th hit is sixth RBI. 2 nothing New York. Hitters on the bench are like it. It's not that easy. Uh, Maybe it is. It's something special. Yeah. That was a good pitch. Down and in. That's where he likes it. Oh, it's some, he's something special. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I hope that that kid, 50 years from now, is able to tell his grandkids that Jeremy Hefter's keeping a sharp eye on that. Mm. And he gets so good looking at the slider. Six strikeouts through the first seven batters for DeGrom. Six of the strikeouts have come on the slider, one on the fastball. He puts the hitter away when he throws that slider 47% of the time, which is just an amazing number. And he does it again as he gets Lobaton, and that's six in a row for DeGrom, and seven of the first eight down via the strikeout. One, two, Kevin. Yep. And Stock takes a call, third strike. Uh -huh. Three perfect innings for Jacob DeGrom with eight strikeouts. Knee to the wall. Rizzo drives that one down the line. That one head towards the upper deck, and that one is gone. Anthony Rizzo blasts one out, and the Cubs are on the board. First hit of the night produces a run, his ninth. That's full. Too high, ball four, and that forces in a run. Oh, boy. The tenth time this year the Mets have drawn a base with loaded walk. That brings in Guillaume to make it four to one. Check swing tapper down to first. Rizzo steps, throws home too late. It'll be an RBI ground out to make it five to one. Truly really the only play Rizzo had. Made sure he got Smith for the second out. But Nito comes home to make it. Pilar drives one deep to left field. Forget that. That is way out of here. Ooh. That's drilled right field towards the corner, and that one is gone. That one is gone as Ortega will touch them all. And a two run homer there makes it a 6 3 game. Line shot just over the wall in right. That was a bullet. 1 2 coming. Looped into center field. Pilar coming on. Diving. He's got it. And the ball game is 